Hey everyone, this is Julia, and I have a video for you today about face masks. I have been making some recycled t-shirt face masks, and I'm so totally excited about them. They're really cool. Face masks, that's a lot of face masks. They're so soft, they're so colorful, they're so fun, they're one of a kind. Um, and uh, I'm going to show them to you right now real quick. So... Thanks for joining me on my video today. Again, my name is Julia, the Nomadic Crafter, and I make upcycled clothing, and this is really a creative channel. So for all you creatives out there, I hope you enjoy this. Mask number one. A little bit of a tribal, tribal mask, and each of the masks are two-sided, so you really have two fashion options. And I like to put fun colors on the... Um, on the ear so they're all different sizes um mask number two has got this really pretty salmon splash on it and this is a small <laughs> pretty sweet and then um this is a nice rust on this side so these are just so soft these are three layers so there's another layer inside there and it's just it's like quilting almost. It's so nice. And then actually the ear straps are also recycled t-shirt fabric. So they're really stretchy and really soft. It's just like a rolled t-shirt fabric. Mask number three, a cute little pink number with white straps and gray on the other side. Mask number four is going tribal. Little spotty design there with black on the other side. And I love putting like, just like a patch over, it's over some olive green there. So it makes this cool effect like that. And then I'm losing count of the numbers. So this is the next mask. Nice with the linen on this side, some nice tie dye. They're all made from scratch. There's no pattern for small, medium, large. I just put it on and if it um, is small, medium or large based on my face. So, and then I have extra large too. But love that tie-dye on that one. And then I have some more other tie-dye ones. I just had some little pieces of tie-dye. So this one I made a heart out of. So it's a heart mouth. Speak heart through your mouth. Your What comes out of your mouth is... Da, 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 da. And then purple on the other side with tie-dye t-shirt straps. So cool. <laughs> The next one is another like really hushed tie-dye with a stripy cranberry on the other side. Love this one, so soft. Again, it's like a blanket. And then this one, oh, I love this minty color. Ah, I had this t-shirt dress I made and sold and it was this minty color shirt and it said the Golden Road Cafe. And that's a reference to a Grateful Dead song called the Golden Road to Unlimited Devotion which is kind of like from the East type thing. Um, so, and I sold that and I always wanted to get it back from them. And I'm too embarrassed to like say, hey, um, you can pick out a new dress if you'd like. If you'll return that dress to me, I'd like to get it back and exchange it for another one. It's kind of retarded. Now this side of this one is just part of a t-shirt. And one of the things I like about this is they get the graphics on it from the t-shirt. And sometimes it says, like um really fun things like one of them said light team on the side like you're part of the light team as opposed to the dark team so yeah i just love this double-sided little quilty creation there's a really little small one it's a light pink it's got a little bit of a graphic on the edge there and i love the white straps hello how are you today i'm smiling <laughs> And then a really small one. And I took three of these and I gave them to my nephews. My little nephews all have a mask now from their Auntie Julia. So there's that one. Oh, and then we have some really large ones. This one's a light blue beige with fancy green straps. And this one's pretty large. So. Bam. Bam. And then we have another large, which is a burgundy and green. I tend to make the larges in more plain colors that I think guys would like, because 
Um, a lot of the larger ones are going to guys, um, but that's not always the case. And then we have this stripey one. And I don't use a nose bendy thing. I just, I don't like anything artificial inside of my soft creation here. So. And then this beautiful little blue and purple tie-dye one. I hope you can see the colors here, folks. And then another like fun patchwork tie-dye one. I just had these patches, uh, patchwork tie-dye pieces left. So I just did some little funky patchwork on the front. It looks kind of strange, almost alien, like, <laughs> Oh, and tie-dye straps for this one, too. Love that. Then we have a pretty tight uh, tribal one. I love this one. Very soft. Oh, they're so, oh my God, soft. You're not going to be getting any lines with these. And you might think that's less protective, but I think this is adequate. I think what I think about masks is it's a super great pre preventative mess measure whenever um, any kind of virus or anything flares up, especially when you're in close contact with people. I don't believe it's a political statement. If anything, at this point, it's like a fashion statement. But really, actually, for safety, I think it's a good uh, thing to do. I just, I don't like being bound by, you know, heavy duty restrictions and rules. And that that's... That's the way everything has to be. You really cannot legislate things. You really cannot force people to do things. You have to raise up people that are in connection with good things and they make their own decisions. That's freedom. And with that freedom, what I mean is it comes with responsibility to make the right decisions. Now we have another tribal one here, which is like a face, a, a face painting, okay. A cave painting. <laughs> Like that with that hand there and the Bambi fur and then burgundy on the other side with some nice black stripes. Love this one. I know my brother was eyeballing this. I should have just given it to him, but now it's sold. I'll make him another one if, if I have that fabric. Uh, more tie-dye. Just put it as a square on top and that's making the third layer. Sometimes it can get really thick on the side to be able to stitch through and it's like, like really trying to force it through, but oh. Uh, adorable a lot of people will always suggest why don't you make this and why don't you make that and if you're a new creator trying to come up with something to make I really suggest you make something that you really like one you're gonna like the job you're doing Two, the energy of passion is gonna be in your work three it's gonna be a lot easier to list it and sell it with confidence at the right price so the fact that I just love 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 these so much is exciting so here's another tie-dye one. Stay here, baby. Uh, which is like a extra large, large, extra large. It has cool tie-dye straps and a rust back. Massive. So they do come in different sizes. And this is one of my favorite. This is the last one, y'all. And this is some patchwork, like blue, sort of fun patchwork with the bright blue straps and the blue back. I love this one. So, my dog's wandered off. I'll have to end this. So, these are my face masks. And they're just, if you just took them all together like this, it's just like a pillow. You can just put your head on it. They're so soft. <laughs> so, again, you can find my masks at California Patchwork on Etsy.com. Etsy.com slash store slash California Patchwork. I'll bring you right there. I really appreciate you watching my video. If you have any questions about the face masks, um, check them out in the description below. And the face masks are listed, and so they're starting to sell now. I guess this video is a little bit late. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, showing of my recent creative endeavors. And I'm hoping you'll have a creative day out there as well. So, take care. Thanks. Bye.